Mark opens his gospel with the imagery of a new exodus. It's a theme that prophets like Isaiah use to describe God's coming work in the life of Jesus unfolding before Mark's generation. But Mark's gospel starts with John the baptizer first. John invites everyone into the wilderness for transformation, responding to God. Let's read. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. This was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The prophet Malachi links the new exodus with a throwback leader named Elijah. Elijah wore strange clothes and announced the coming of God. Mark uses another allusion to make sure his readers catch this almost word for word, describing John like the Greek version of the Old Testament describes Elijah follow me out here. In Malachi, this second Elijah guy announcing Isaiah's new exodus is coming like soap. Yes, soap. So in Mark, we find this guy out in the wilderness inviting people to take a bath of sorts, like soap, cleaning people. One scholar translates, a baptism for the reversal of mindset for the forgiveness of sins. People are invited to change. That's what this Greek word metanoia means, a change of mind. Like soap that cleans cloth or fire that refines gold, God is inviting people into the wilderness to be changed. The Hebrew word for repentance, shuv, literally means turn, as in to turn back to God. Turning to God changes our lives. God's invitation to turn to him can simply be called grace. One scholar puts it like this, proclamation of grace precedes the call to change one's life. Baptism mediated the forgiveness of sins, yet it is inseparably bound to repentance, a new mindset that reverses conventional values and calls for a complete reorientation of one's life in view of the decisive act of God to occur immediately. So here we go. This Elijah figure, John, is inviting us into the new exodus that begins by crossing the waters of baptism, the waters of repentance. If the gospel starts with repentance, a change of mind, a turning around, then what are we turning from and how do we change? Mm -hmm.